Let's do a quick review of the Walker Silencer 2.0 uh, Bluetooth electronic hearing protection. These are uh, basically earbuds, but they seal off well enough that they protect your hearing when you're shooting. And they have a lot of the a lot of the features that you would see in in earbuds. And they also have the same features in hearing protection combined. That's kind of the interesting amalgamation of this product to be honest with you and that's why i chose these and i started using them about a year and a half ago so the bluetooth is the 5.0 so it's it's actually one of the the more recent if not the most recent version of bluetooth um, it does have multiple settings for programs so it does have touch controls on the outside of the actual earbud itself. We'll talk about that. We'll also talk about the wind noise reduction. They do work. They work very well. I can hear people talking real time and they also cut out the noise. So the only gunshots I've ever had problems with, with these actually not cutting it out completely, is a couple of open guns at indoor matches and quite frankly i'm not sure anything will actually stop those everybody hates those things so there's a couple of them out there especially with the pop of holes that there's nothing you can really do they're just brutal but everything else no problems there is an app on your phone for this okay it took me a while to realize that once I realized it and started using my phone to adjust to the earbuds, it made a world of difference. I initially was trying to use the side of the earbuds, which this is a touch screen right here. I was trying to use the side of the earbuds to control the actual earbuds themselves. Uh, it's a fail. So I absolutely do not recommend trying to use these touch pads on the side to try and control them at all. Make sure that you're using your app and your phone. It's really the only way to truly do it correctly. But when you use your phone to control them, 100%, no problems, easy to do. I found that the way that they had these working where you're sliding up and down and you're tapping them and this is basically a sensor screen on the edge, it's it's a complete fail. I, I, I got no benefit from it whatsoever. Um, it just made it more more annoying than anything. <laughs> so I, I actually adjusted my earbuds accidentally more than I did intentionally, let's put it that way. So the earbuds themselves actually have this, this right here that goes in the inside of your ear and holds it in place. This is the foam that holds it in place also. So as you can see, a year and a half of use on these, these bad boys are kind of beat up, right? So as you can see, this one just pops right off. It's because these are toast. So after about a year and a half, this this piece right here needs to be replaced for sure, maybe a year. Um, the right one that I have right here, it absolutely is toast. You can see that it's it's protruding out, right? And this just pops off at will and it kind of falls apart. It's They're pretty bad. So I've been waiting for Walker to have these back in stock so that I could order a pair and put them back on here and nothing. I essentially was waiting for months and I have been waiting for months for that specific type of foam to come back in stock and they don't, they just don't come back in stock. I've even emailed them. The email I got was, Thanks for your interest in this product. They're not available right okay. now. My question was, when will they be available? Their answer was, they're not available. Which was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, customer service, that was great. You know, ask a question, don't get an answer. So I was, I was pretty disappointed in that. Um, that, in my opinion, is the downfall of this entire system, these foamies. So what I started doing was I started looking at other foamies that were out there. I initially looked at the Surefires and the Surefires wouldn't fit. But they also have these. These are the XXV replacement models for the razors, right? And these are the same type of foam, but you can see they're shaped a little bit different. They have this protrusion back here, okay? but they do have basically are the same as, as the one that's that are on there. So on this one, I basically shaved the protrusion off. Okay, can you see that? Here, let's move it a little bit. Okay, so I shaved that protrusion off right here. 
versus the way that they come. These will both actually fit on there. I've tried them, okay? I have tried them with the protrusion. They will go on and they are nice and snug and they work, okay? I've also tried them with the one that I cut off, right? It's harder to get on, but it will go deeper into the stud and actually fit in the ear a little bit better. So those, these will work right here. This is the answer to the problem. If these are available, you can buy them and you can get them to work on these. But to get the actual replacements that come with this replacement piece and the ones that are made for this, forget about it. They're not available anywhere on the surface of the planet, which is horrifically annoying. But we found a replacement for it. It's these. So let's talk about some of the features. We talked about um, the foam that's going in the ear. I think by far that's one of the big issues that you have to deal with when you first get them. So they are true wireless earbuds. I can Bluetooth them to my phone. I can listen to music to them as long as I want, as much as I want. It's actually really good sounding. They're not Dr. Dre's, okay? So they're not, they're not pumping out the beats and they're not really deep in bass, but they are really close. They're actually pretty decent. And I've used them on trips where I'm going shooting and I don't wanna take extra earbuds. I just use them as regular earbuds. They are rechargeable. They come with a recharger. So this recharger is a battery. So once I plug this back in place here, you'll see that it blinked blue and now it's charging. It's not plugged in because the battery in this has enough charge to charge it. So this is the cable. This is the charging cable. It's a USB on one side. And then I think that's the equivalent of a, I think that's a Samsung, okay? I forget which adapter that is, but it comes with the cable. I just leave it in my truck. I plug this in in my truck and make sure that these go back in there and they get recharged. And then I pull this out and throw it into my gun bag when I get to the range. They come with a little cleaner brush and a, and a pick. Never used it, not once ever. But the case is nice. The recharging works really well. They hold a charge and they have for eight hours of use on a regular basis. They will start to shut off. I think after six hours, you can adjust that in the app on your phone. I have it set to maximum. And I believe it'll, it'll tell you after six hours about to shut off. And you have to go back in there and stop it from shutting off. Or just turn it back on afterwards. Um, the sound operated compression or sound activated compression does work. Okay, so as soon as shooting goes off, everything compresses and it stops that noise from coming in. Dynamic wind noise reduction. Eh, negative boys and girls. The wind noise is probably the worst part of these if you're outside and it's windy. Congratulations, I live in Colorado. That's almost every day at the range. You will get um, wind noise through them. There's no sock over the mic and the electronics don't really cut it out at all. So yeah, they're pretty crappy in the wind. But so is everything else. So at a certain point, you just have to accept the fact that the modern technology, it is basically, it's a failure point for that at this point. There's not a whole lot you can really do about it. The voice prompts, it does give you voice prompts like auto shutting off, right? Or um, it'll tell you when you've lost your Bluetooth connection. If you walk away from your phone too far, it'll tell you, you know, you've lost your Bluetooth and all that stuff. Um, so the three sizes of the fins and the foam tips, they have a small, medium, and a large, just like these right here, okay? Here, let me pull these out so you can see them, right? So you have a, a small, a medium, and a large, right? These are the three different sizes, okay? Small, medium, large. The medium and the large are very similar, but there is a little bit difference there. I find that the mediums are what fit my ears. The larges will work kind of, and the smalls are like, what are you, a fucking seven-year-old? So they're super small. Um, play with your um, phone with these. It's actually pretty neat. I have tried a whole bunch of the different modes. So they have universal amplified clear voice and HF boost. I actually prefer clear voice. Clear voice gives me the best combination of cutting out gunshot and at the same time um, stopping 
the stop well being able to hear people talk while the shooting's going on it gives me kind of the best combination of the both so sleep i have mine set to six i wish they had an eight um but they don't so six every six hours you got to kind of go in there and tell it to not shut off on you you do have an adjustment for right and left so you can turn up one ear more than the other if you want to i don't know that it's a big deal um, i usually just leave mine on one and it's perfect so they're great um, of all of the hearing protection that i've used and i've used a lot of different hearing protection these by far do the best I, I appreciate their small size. I don't like using muffs. I shoot rifle too much to really care about using earmuffs. They they just get they smack against the stock too much and pop loose, and so I get way too much ambient sound through them. So having these in my ears is by far the better option. These are about three hundred dollars. They're not cheap. They're not expensive either. So for the high quality shooting ear plugs that really go deep into your ear like hearing like basically like hearing devices people use for people who have hearing loss those are twelve hundred dollars minimum i've seen them as high as three three grand so three hundred dollars for really good electronic hearing protection in earbuds is really fairly inexpensive and i I recommend these. I definitely do. They do have some shortfalls that you have to kind of learn to live with and, and work around. But overall, I, for the price point, I haven't found anything that works better for these. I have not had a chance to use their new version, and I forget the name of their new version um, of earbuds. They've got a little bottom protrusion on them, which I'm not really happy about because those will probably hit stocks on the face or get pushed around. And that's the whole point is I don't want these getting moved around while a stock is on the side of my face. Um, so I'll probably stick with these and I'll stick with them for a long amount of time now that I've found a decent replacement and a way to fix that, that, that foam. So definitely recommend. Just got to kind of work around some of the issues with them. But once you figure that out, they're really good.